Clements Homebrew coming at you from the yard. I got the grapes and the hops behind me. Hopefully it's not too loud between the wind and the airplanes and everything going on. But I've got a great review here. This one, I've been just, I've been drinking this. This is uh, my second purchase of this and I've been loving it. So I saved the last can. This is the, we'll go this direction first, the three-way IPA from Fort George. Now, this isn't the three-way IPA that you've seen in the past. This one is the Rockstar version. And let me tell you, this is a Rockstar version. I have been loving this one. In the previous years, this collaboration was made by Fort George, which it is still, and in collaboration with Gigantic and Lompoc breweries, some good breweries. But this time, they teamed up with Boneyard. I love Boneyard stuff and Block 15. These are two stellar Oregon breweries. Uh, Boneyard's particularly famous for their RPM IPA and Hop Venom, two fantastic IPAs. And what people most know probably uh, a Block 15 for some of their big rich beers but also for Sticky Hands. They have a series of IPAs called Sticky Hands and they are all fantastic. I'll have to do a review of one of the Sticky Hands before too long. But um, these are some great beers. So this one, it's American IPA, it's 7.2%. They don't say how many IBUs. I've been loving this one. We're gonna get it cracked open. Yeah, I had to save one for review. I've been enjoying this so, so much. So take a look. It's a beautiful, like a dark, like an amber to, to golden color, I'd say. You get a lot of floaties with this one. It's interesting. I'm not big on floaties, but I've been loving the beer. And take a look. You know, it's got a nice off-white head. It's a one-finger head. It's nothing to celebrate, but it's the taste in the nose that's so fantastic. So let's get a nose. Man, yeah, you get hit with this nice, resinous, dank lemon. That's the first part that hits you, is a nice big lemon, but you get some tropical fruit, and you're totally pulling out some mango on that. I'd say a little bit, a hint of peach on it. Uh, nice floral hops, but you know it's very hoppy. It's, it's a big old IPA. Oh, but man, that, that dank aroma and the resinousness are just wonderful combined, like I say, with the tropical and citrus. So we're going to just go for it. Cheers. Yep, yep, and that's why I've been loving this one. Absolutely loving it. It's, it's, it is very dank. It's very dank. There's some nice resin on it. You, you know the mosaic hops are in there, but you got some nice citrus on there, you know, some good lemon and uh, nice floral hops. You do get a little bit of the peach, you get some of that mango, you get those tropical influences. They're all there, just like in the nose. Grapefruit. You get some grapefruit and grapefruit rind along with a lemon. I don't really pick up any orange on this one. It's the lemon and the grapefruit, grapefruit rind that shine through on the citrus side. And you do get some of that peach. You get a bit of that stone fruit flavor in there. But but that resinous and dankness, man, that's, that's, that's the strong suit above the lemon on the grapefruit. Yeah, very dank. It's just wonderful, but the balance of the body and the sweetness pull through. This isn't a super sweet beer, but there's a nice sweetness and it's just a juicy flavor. It's just very juicy on the mouth and it, uh, it comes out semi-dry, so it doesn't completely dry out. So you keep some of those nice flavors right on your tongue. <laughs> Can you tell I'm loving this one? But it does dry out a bit. It does prepare you for the next sip. It's a medium body and it's a nice medium carbonation, kind of a creamy carbonation. And you can already see that it's leaving some nice lacing on the glass. I've been loving this beer. It's nice and juicy. It, it makes me think a bit of 
someplace between that uh, RPM IPA and Hop Venom from Boneyard. Boneyard makes some great stuff. They don't uh, bottle or can. It's always on tap, but their distribution is huge in the Oregon area. Sticky Hands is extremely popular. You can find it in some shops. People go down and get in lines to pick up the new bottles of whatever they've done with Sticky Hands down in Corvallis, Oregon. And, uh, and Boneyard's out in Bend, Oregon. And of course, Fort George is in Astoria, which is right at the coast. So it's kind of the triangle around Portland, uh, these three breweries. You can't go off and look at ratings if you're a ratings person. And if you do, you've got to put in the three-way IPA 2014. You've got to find the one with, with Boneyard and Block 15 along with uh, Fort George who brews it. Because this is a completely different beer. This one is so much better than the previous year. It was good in the past, but this is better. There's not much more I need to say. You know, the floaties for appearance, that could take it down a notch, but the taste on this is just stellar it's excellent it it may be just shy of world class i don't know i'm just thinking for american ipa i i just i'm really digging on this one so i'm going with a 94 on this one on my ipa scale uh hope you're fortunate enough to get a fresh can on my overall i have to I have to go up a notch. I think I have to do it. And the reason is supply and demand. I mean, I keep going out and buying more of this. That, that's that got to say something. I'm notching it up to 95 for my overall. Been so thoroughly enjoying this. If you don't like something that's dank and with a lot of citrus and resinousness, you know, you might not get into this. But, boy, if you like, like a hot slap in the face... <laughs> <laughs> You'd love this one. Here it is again, the three-way IPA. And the way to tell it apart from past years, particularly, it's in a silver can, and you've got the whole rock star status going on with uh, Boneyard, Block 15, and Fort George. Wow, this is a winner. I'd say grab yourself one. And if you're in Portland area and you haven't tried this, you better grab it and drink it quick while it's still good. This is Kevin from Clements Homebrew saying life's too short to drink cheap beer and I will see you in the next beer review. Cheers everyone.